What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm finally getting some time to do a vlog, which I have not had a whole lot of time in the last two months, it feels like. It's just been very crazy in my life. But I did want to do a little vlog slash review today, since I hadn't really done anything since last year, technically at this point. Um, so I went to a new coffee shop that opened up. It is called the Seven Brew. Seven Brew. It is right across from the Lidl and near the AMC uh, Theater. So I've been there once before today and I tried a hot coffee. It was a very cold day that day that I got a hot coffee and I tried the Smooth Seven from the Seven Brew. So I will actually insert a picture of the uh, Smooth Seven, which was a hot coffee. Granted, it's just a picture of the coffee cup. <laughs> But I will say when I had the hot coffee, it was very, it was good. For them, they were more of an in-between because it had the coffee taste of Dunkin', but it was less acidic than Starbucks coffee can be. For, for me, me, they kind of, they straddle in between Starbucks and Dunkin', so they're, they're a top contender. But, um, today I got a iced coffee since it's a very lovely day today. So this is the cinnamon roll. And I got them to add whipped cream and drizzle and all that stuff. So this is the first time trying their iced coffee. So we'll see how it iced coffee goes. Okay. That's a really good iced coffee. I'm not usually much of an iced coffee fan unless it's like super hot and I want coffee. And But today I just wanted something different. This is really good. This is the cinnamon roll. This is really good. It's not acidic, it's very smooth. It's not overly coffee bearing. You don't get a lot of syrup and um, drizzle initially the vlog part, but yeah, the last few months have been very busy. Dad's been in rehab twice now. Uh, he was in there the first part of December and he was in now the first part of January and he just got out. So he's come home, so then it's now it's reacclimated to being in home life. And when he comes from these rehab situations, he wants me to babysit him like they do because he's used to that 24 seven, I'm gonna call somebody, somebody's gonna help me. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of time when I have things to do, maintaining the house, working, taking care of you know, preparing food or cleaning up after the food or after him and just his basic living is a lot for one person and so I gotta do I've, I've got his rear his room rearranged ever since he had the heart monitor put in this time because he passed out this time and they're trying to figure out what's going on so they found some irregularities with his heart so they put in a heart monitor so now he has to go around the house with a button that he can press if he's feeling one of these episodic times to have it, I guess you'd say, record the episode of what his heart's doing so they can check the heart patterns or something. So there's that. Plus he's not been on his sleep apnea machine the last while uh, because he's been in and out of these rehab situations so much the last mm, six months or more. This is like, I lost track how many times he was in the hospital last year at this point, but it's been a lot with all that um, so i've got to do his medicine still i've got to get a few more groceries for the house so that i don't have to continue to go out to stores and things because leaving him for any duration amount of time it's like what am i going to find when i go home is he going to be on the floor is he going to be passed out I, I just don't know anymore because now that he's back home it's like oh well this is where the last place i was sitting um, before I fail or I remember doing this before I fail and that now he's he just he's walking around in fear and that does not help so that's what I'm having to overcome right now with him but in my personal I'm having so much things going on I had had so many vehicle problems my heater went out it was been burning oil and it's been causing stall out problems and I had a whole episode where a Sunday I had it I took it out to drive in and then it stalled and it was rainy and luckily a cop was behind me he got me pushed off to the side so that happened and so after that then I had a weekend where 
I decided to give the other vehicle a break and took mine back out after I gotten the repair done. Just gotten that fixed and that was an arm and a leg it feels like. Next day a tire explodes. I had to call for help on the coldest day ever to get help. Um, and I hated to do that, but thank God someone came to help me with the tire. Um, so now I've got a donut on the, on the truck. I have another tire that's getting slack. So I'm like, now I just need to look for four new tires or used tires or something. It's a lot. So while I'm waiting and saving and trying to put some a little away for getting some tires, at least until I shop around for tires, um, which I'll have to do that next month at this point. It's been interesting. I had a whole, a whole hour Thursday where I was on with a, a member and got a whole lot of really bad vibes from that conversation. And I usually don't take an hour with these calls. And I had to reach out to get some help with the member because the things that they were saying, I did not get a very good vibe from. So I needed to have a wellness check done and then it really reminded me of why i'm still here <laughs> to help people like that because i know how it is to have those types of inclinations and having it in your home so i was glad to be able to hear the um, warning signs for someone to intervene and prevent something bad happening because mental health awareness is very important to me having walked that road with suicide and mental uh, health issues in my home now I will say life is hard especially nowadays so if you can be an ear for somebody then try to do that I know I've not been the greatest at it with all that's been going on in my life lately and I've, I've got to get got caught up on so much i'm so behind on a lot of things also with all this i've been trying to heal um old traumas and things that with me within myself trying to do better with those because i've had i've been sitting down just to kind of observe myself and watching you know have an anxious attachment style emotional abandonment issues and so many other things that i've been trying to work through and then it just kind of also bubbled up to the surface with the orphan issue that I have because of the emotional abandonment that I've experienced. So I've been kind of going through different things, different studies, going back through notes from church and my counselor and things like that to learn how to deal with feeling like an orphan when in reality I'm not. I still I have I had both parents in my home growing up <laughs> they may not have been the most emotionally vulnerable people but they were there so having to walk through forgiving that which mm, being that I'm in a home with a parent still it's still kind of a a hard thing to do to heal the traumas so learning to heal feeling like an orphan and filling up on God's love for me and how he's <laughs> essentially given me spiritual parents who are emotionally available for me to heal the <laughs> emotional abandonment, which can then help heal my anxious attachment style. So learning all that these last few months has been something to <laughs> fill up on and taking it day by day and then trying to learn to rebalance my life um, with having to deal with so much. So that's my vlog for today. So if you Check are out the seven brew, highly recommend going to that coffee shop. Really great. It's all drive through. So drive on up so be sure to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you when i see you in the next video bye